Starting right back into it. We're mopping up some quests. This one involves getting mutated ferns for Solomon. Now, Forest Grove Marsh has been completed by us in the past, but that doesn't mean that we can't revisit to get some of them. So, speaking of which, here they are. Easy peasy. We can get out of here. Now you got problems. Ah. Uh, nope, we've got company first. You want to start climbing up? You see him? Ah. Ruah! One way to get that cool one pumping. They're here somewhere. Anyone you walk away from. Who would have thought I'd have returned with Pikmin's Blade? I think that's everything I need from here. Okay, let's kill this last one. We can just get straight back out to Solomon. Nice. Okay. That was a good start. Uh, next, blood flies, which we can apparently find here. Uh, we'll teleport to the rationing site. Just go straight over to it. I didn't see. Whoa, what have I spawned into? Oh, honestly, you're not what I expected, but still pretty good. A nocturnal shish kebab. So today I learned shish kebab isn't a like super unique item. I thought it was. It does increase in amounts of damage as the night grows longer and less during the day. Cool. Wonder if the grenades respawned. I could do with some more. Woohoo! They spawn so frequently. Makes like you I wonder would. how some folks made it through at all. Those does indeed. Well, we've looted through this we say. Let's go get this blood fly. 59... Well... 30 meters this way? Oh, there it is. Well... That was easy, and I think it's gonna gain me like how many caps? Oh. What? What? Did I did I do it? Mm hmm. Did I do it? Guess I can just go back to her. I am wildly confused. Because I didn't pick up what I thought that was. Eh. Why did it just die and not. Ah, that's strange. Anyway. There is blood flies not too far away from here, so that is something I can easily get my hands on. Could also just go to the red rock and pick up glands if I needed. I think they're uh, just over here. No, nope, just beyond this bit. What is fighting what? Hey, what? He's doing some serious damage with that. Did he bring out the minigun? Oh, he did. <laughs> good man, Nick. Good man. At least the kid. You know what? I haven't seen too many sting wings. From, like, what we used to. Do you know what? No, 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 no. <laughs> ah! That just, it came way too close to me.
Where are they all? What? 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 Blood flies, why do you keep disappearing when I try to kill you? And was that Nick triggering them there? <laughs> no way they've respawned already. No. Right. I need to leave stuff at the Red Rocket, so I'll grab the glands just in case. So see you all in a moment. So it's time to edit this bad boy up to full. We can uh, we can even swap its ammo if we wanted to, although it drops the fire rate from both of them. Uh, I wonder if you drop it to that, what happens? Anyway, I'm new around here. I'll stay to the 45. I wanted to introduce myself. I'm sure I you do. I personally thank you for I'm, giving us I'm this busy, I'm busy here so, with the audience. Is there anything you need me to get started on? Uh, yeah, just let me. Let me finish this. So, the powerful automatic receiver will add a good bit to the damage and not too much to the weight. I'm gonna name it as well, don't worry. So, this is the long ported one. Superior recoil, range, sight, pure, far from the hip. Don't see much better. Got the best stock on it. Large quick eject mags, which of course is just gonna be far better. Front sight ring, well, we can't really put a long recon scope on it, but I don't really care for that much. I'd rather a... a dot. Uh, a compensator would be nice, but I'd rather a silencer. And that's us. Uh, you might be wondering... Why don't I rename this? I'm gonna call it the Lucky... 30, my lucky 38. New Vegas shout out! Woo! Um, yeah, I'll talk to you later, man. Not being rude, I'm just busy. Uh, I'll scrap this stuff, so I'll be with you in a moment as I need to get stuff off Nick as well. And we have returned to Diamond City. What's, what's he want? Hey there. Oh. Find that burn. Should be easy to spot. Found the plant. Here you go. All right. Here's your payment, plus some samples from the pharmacy. Don't take them all at once now. Moderation. Everyone in this city is always jumping at shadow. Chill out, pals. Say. I know you can afford 12. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Funny neck. All right, hey, so. You there. I am. Um, I have a from question the for bar you. fight only? Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before when. You and the bartender got in a fight. Nice of you to call it a fight, but we both know what really happened. Cook kicked my ass. I'm supposed to pretend I don't know he's sleeping with my wife. Until he decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. Sounds like a tough situation. You don't know the half of it. But I'm not gonna just sit here and let Cook steal my wife and destroy my family. I'm going to go back and talk to him and I want you to come with me. You saw? You won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to leave Darcy alone. You're going to have to make it worth my while. Guess I missed the memo we'd taken up as thugs for hire. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. This'll work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I'm Good so angry job. at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. I'll make sure Cook gets the message. Good. Don't kill him if you don't have to, but otherwise, I don't care what you do to him. He deserves to suffer for what he's done. Okay. Well, just before we deal with that... That was swatter. That's a real one. Talk to Mo oh, the wedding! Are you sure about this? I am not a normal girl. My dear, you're perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. All these years, I never realized how much she meant to me until she said something. Mr. Zawicki. I don't care what anyone says. We're in love. Edna. You helped me make a very big decision. Thank you. I think I know what this love is now. Aww. That was nice. 
that is something that is frighteningly going to be in the not so distant future if you combine a seriously powerful AI and a robot and uh, so I, you I see that happening. That abandoned house. Not gonna lie. Assume McDonough gave you permission and leave it at that. Uh no, I'm not meant to be. Right, the gland thing is weird because I, I checked my inventory and I don't have any. So I'm gonna go in here and just chat and see. You heard about that settlement? Oh. Covenant? Nice, real clean. Strict entrance requirements though. Oh, why? Ah, Bench, you're the only one that understands me in this city. And oh, Nick, I suppose. And Piper. I've, I've, I've been around this city quite a bit. Anyway, let's wait until morning time so I can go in and annoy the sand center people. After we do this, we'll sort out Cook and then Trinity Plaza is up for clearing. So what's next on my list? I'm also going to get like 300 caps for this if it works. Dissecting a bloat fly can be fun. Just avoid getting stung to death, and you'll be a junior scientist in no time. Dr. Duff. Have fun out there, and don't get killed. That'd be bad for progress. Have fun out there, and don't get killed. That'd be what? bad for What? What? I... I'm so confused. It's just not an item I've ever seen being picked up. Wow. I cleared a lot of these out, though. There's a lot of silly ones. For progress. Okay, I guess I've got to get one somewhere. I just don't know why they keep imploding and, like, not letting me get them. That's a bit strange. But yes, nonetheless. I ain't scared of them. No, really. I'm not the dog guy. You want your meat slice? I think this is like one of the very last quests, apart from like the main one with the mayor. I've never done that one before, but read that interview you gave. The thing you said at the end. Yeah, 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 the interview. I know. I'm good. I get it. Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. I ain't gonna go behind the bar and talk to him. We need to talk, Cook. Oh yeah? Is there some kind of problem? Are you sleeping with Paul Pembroke's wife? I really don't see what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. Let's see with. what's happening here. Well, we could ask nicely. Hmm. Paul asked me to talk to you, so here I am, asking nicely. And I'm asking you, nicely, to turn back around and go tell Paul to come talk to me himself, if he's man enough. Let's see. Think this through. Darcy isn't worth dying for. Or killing for. She's just one gal, and the two of you are dragging poor Paul through the ringer. You know what? You're right. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Mm. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? Sounds good. It's a good start. Something more concrete would help. Yeah, okay, I get it. I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill mm. two birds with What's one stone, tea? you know? You've got my attention. Let's hear this idea. Here's the deal. I have some other um, businesses on the side. Uh -huh. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid, an arrogant little pissant. But useful, since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. <laughs> Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. I'm in. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise you won't regret it. 
In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. Okay, so apparently there is a side quest that requires, and this is kind of sad, Paul to die somehow. Now, normally he would have died at some point here, but that hasn't happened, so I need to somehow kill Paul. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, but it has to be done because we need to complete all the quests. So I'm wondering how I get rid of Paul. Okay, so he's going to go that way, but Paul needs to die somehow. Again, I'm not super comfortable with doing this. Whatever it is, but leave me out of it. That's for the 100% playthrough. That's not Paul. Where would Paul be? No skull in the league can withstand a swatter. I can't do it with Nick, because again, I, I, I kind of feel morally responsible for this. Maybe just set a mine somewhere. He might just walk into it. Hmm. Maybe it's best to do it without Nick here. No. Well, I'm going to see here. Oh, it's okay. I, I, I tell you what, I spent about half an hour trying to find this guy. So, Cook has a plan to make us both rich. Ambush a chem deal set up by him and Nelson Latimer. Interested? If you think it's a good idea, I'm in. Cook owes me. Big time. There we go. Now we can bring him. Note says the meat is near the back street of Parole Building. Right, Paul needs you know to die, is? sadly. Oh, yeah. Down along the river. Know. Come on, let's do this. Good news is, I can pretty happily let him Ugh, die. Henry won't let me in the tap house anymore. So, here I am. Yeah, never... See how the S-Farm move? Mm. Anyway, that saves me a lot of hassle. Because, I, well, I couldn't find Just him. Yourself, and the other me. reload save is like three hours ago where I didn't do the entire quest with Vadim. So I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah, this is, again, no console commands, no nothing required, all legit. Right, so I just need to make sure Paul dies. Which shouldn't be too difficult the more I think about it. But, anyway, I don't, I don't know what the rest of it, or the quest he triggers if he dies, is, because I've never done it before. And this is probably the first loading screen I've let you all see. Very good at skipping them. Yeah, this is how long, on average, it takes. So, thankfully, that's not... <gasps> I've cleared this place, like, several times, so we Where all the hell is Cook? We can't sit here much longer. Uh, Relax. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. Um. Here we are. The meat is just ahead. There's always four Murawski's goons. That's good. Who's in charge, and then three other guys to unload the boat and wave their guns around. You should be able to work your way around these buildings to get a good angle on them. I'll wait for the shooting to start, then join in from here. Remember, we can't afford to let anybody get away. Um. Okay, well, look, I have an idea. So we'll save it here and see what happens. Come on, man. I'm starting to get seriously pissed off here. Uh, you do, <clears throat> huh? You better get I'll the fuck out of here if you know what's good for you. I just want to kill you. Cook sent me. He has a message for you. Cook told you about this? Where the hell is Cook anyway? What is this, Nelson? Cook couldn't make it, so he sent me instead. The fuck he did? Trish! Kill this asshole! Okay. Uh, I'm glad this all kicked off. I suppose no one would know if I just... Not the way I want this to go, though. Nick! Too many of them. Nick would probably be able to kill them all by himself, and I kind of want him to get involved. Go get him! I need to leave that damage there. So, I just need to let this play out. I wonder if there's anything on this. I'm just in the water. 
See, I don't know who am I. Do I care if anyone survives? I'm getting out of here. I know you're not. I really didn't want you to get out. You were better than an asshole to me. 800 caps. Good man. You got guts. Had guts. Oh no. He d he died during the firefight, everyone. I I can't believe that happened. Poor Paul. Yeah, I'll leave Cook alive. And last but not least, Trish is dead, I presume. Where did she die? I need the body. You don't have to kill me. Uh huh. How can I be sure you won't send anyone after me? You're not actually thinking about leaving her alive. I'll tell Moroski it was Gunners, okay? And uh, uh, I'll give up Moroski's Kimla. This here, <laughs> this is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Wonder did Cook just die there? Sorry, no witnesses. No, Sorry. no. Oh. So that's that. I told you it was no problem. The money should still be on Nelson's body. And then there's these chems, which you'll need to sell somehow. But that's your problem now. I'm leaving town for good. <laughs> there's no plausible way I could explain to Morowski how I wasn't involved in this. Unless I die here along with everyone else. We'll all be better off without you. The feeling's mutual, which is why I'm leaving. No witnesses? Ah, there you are. <laughs> good, good. Ah! Hated that? Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. Ah, oh, well. What's this? Why is Paul read Trish's note? Report back to Paul. Well, hey Paul, guess what happened? <laughs> okay, it was a massacre. Everyone died. I mean, I suppose I can just read Trish's note. Paul mysteriously died. It, it was a shame. Shame that it came to that, but Trish's note down in T. Oh, still ways to go. Thank goodness I did a short on this month, like nearly a year ago. I actually know what this means. One, two, three, drop back down, four, five, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we've done that. Paul is now officially bits and pieces. There's definitely another trigger man. Oh, I never found his body. Oh no. There he is. Okay, now we'll find them all. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> what? That was like. That has to be the most amount of cams you can get in the game. Holy crap. And Nick, it's all ours. It's all. It's all mine. Blew the lunchbox away. Probably did. Okay, so everyone's dead. I did it! <laughs> I saved the situation. Okay, four leaf packing is way over here, which obviously, you know, we'll have to go to. Any other things just whilst we're in the area? Why is that telling me to do something back there? Yeah, we're going to do that anyway. Huh. Anywho. Back to Bobby. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot where we are. Okay. Probably best do Trinity Plaza. Hi. Hi, Lana Merritt. 
Wait just one moment. There is a settlement nearby that we have yet to claim. Hangman's Alley. Honestly, I completely forgot Hangman's Alley exists. I know it's one of the stranger ones to set a base up in. What the fuck was that? Your funeral. Hey. Oh. Look clear. Woohoo! And the level up. Hard to beat that. Um, I've seen some really cool builds for this place, so I can't wait to see what I can Sweet. try out knowing when you turn what up, I know now. <laughs> I think that's us here. Your items greatly appreciated. I wonder if I leave this lock, does it matter? Ah, more entrances in isn't going to be the worst thing. Or does this lead me out to? Ah, I know where we are. Okay. This mine now? Cool. Oh, I can even dismantle most of it, which I probably will. Although, there does sound like there is violence nearby, and you know me, I'm a sucker for, for violence. A lot of violence. Uh, Ah, what am I talking about? It's probably the Diamond City security again. Oh no, it's this way. Huh? Something new. Okay. I'm down. Ah, yes, this is quite a hot spot. Okay, so it's Rust Devils, we know that much. Get him, Nick. Show him what you got. Oh. So, I came all the way over here for Rust Devil on Rust Devil. I think the robot parts break down into something cool. Actually, I'll have to have to check that theory of mine. But the robots are always very worthwhile. What do we have here? More robots. And you can't beat a wee ammo box, right? Since we're in the area. Where is that Vault 81? I'll discover it so I don't have to do the walk to it. Because I know I can more or less gain entry into it. So that should be relatively easy. Also, I have a level up. Well, we've got Gun Nut to max. We can't pick up Commando just yet, but that'll be incredible once we do. I actually think that's one of the first ranks we've fully maxed out, apart from, like, local leader. Uh, I will want this leveled up, so maybe just making our companion just better. But I do want water purifiers. Okay, well... Oh, here, how long, actually? Just keep upgrading the wee... Like I've been using this so much, it makes sense to just give it a wee bit of an upgrade. So, we'll discover this. Hmm. Ah, uh, do you know what? We'll go in. We're here anyway. There's a bit of dialogue, a bit of, bit of stuff going on. I actually think there's even a wee quest involved with this vault, so... Vault 81. Friendliest vault in all the Commonwealth. Because here, they don't shoot on sight. Oh, can I just get in? Are they gonna like me just waltzing in? Hold it right there. Ha! <laughs> vault 81 security. No. 
I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. <laughs> Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? <laughs> Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Help a vault dweller? But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. And he's in possession of nice. a pit boy. <laughs> that was easy. Is that so? I'm going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. Oh. Well, that was easy. And that was nice. I have been warned by numerous amounts of you about the mole rats here and to be careful. And uh, there's a gun in here, Overseer's Guardian or something like that. Some rifle that I just need to get my hands on. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Cool. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but... I wonder what this vault was all about. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. Yeah, it's kind of mild. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Yeah, now, yeah, it does. I have work I'm getting to do. there, though. Ma'am, what about his, uh, friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Excuse me, Overseer. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Um... Okay. Hi, Needle. <clears throat> so, we got a new visitor today. Guess it's exploring Don't say this anything, phone. But man, I'd love to be out there. You should check it out. It's got a lot to offer these days. Maybe someday. At the rate we're working these days, maybe sooner than later. Hmm. <laughs> Hope you guys get some breaks at least. You can't work all the time. Tell me about it. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working round the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Look at the animation for that. <laughs> hey there. Another outsider? What they let you in for? Just taking a look around. Is the Overseer just letting anyone in these days? Oh, she seems lovely. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. Miranda seems pleasant. <laughs> I've never seen a synth before. It's kind of a creepy. Low levels of radiation. Not bad, considering. Huh? Hey, okay. Ashes, what are you doing up here? Oh, bad, Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. I've heard about synths. Just never thought I'd see one in the vault. 
It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. Don't make me regret letting you in here. I almost stole that battered clipboard. Would have been, <coughs> would have been knives. Now that you like. made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. <gasps> oh, the legendary restored desk fan. I'll have to come back for one of these, no doubt. So I, I guess we get to go see what a vault's like. I'm sure Valentine will join me at some point. Okay, here we are, Vault 81. Never been? Hey, mister, oh. are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. Oh, he actually is. I didn't pay him there because... I thought he was going to be like your wee girl in Bunker Hill, and I'm like, nah. She just casually block his pathing. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. Hmm. Might as well take the tour here, because I might make things a bit... Nick! Mom. Move. Go. Boston the Ketabite. Move. Hurry up. Oh, there's Calvin. I'll talk to him after I finish this, I guess. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules. But she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The Somersets are nice though. You'll like them. Okay, so the depot's like general store. Obviously the overseer's up there, so we can go to chat to her. Might give us some quest. Or a quest, because I know Curie's here. You look like one of my first characters I made. <laughs> okay. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Well, they seem yes, pretty chill about this me. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. Okay, I'll chop them too. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand oh, Horatio it. must be the the barbers. I know you can set one up in the vault, but haven't really got round to that. Nor needing it. I think my hair's pretty okay underneath this helmet. <gasps> nice. Awesome. Nice. Austin, so much that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. I love Grand the clean Harvey of Braxo. She class makes looking. me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Look at that. It's so class looking. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. That's rough. Some story to this kid. Hydroponics? Is that where he lives? Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh, okay. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. 
Brain grows it all year. Mm, she's pretty really good. Smart. <laughs> pretty Next hydroponics up, isn't something kid. you can get without mods. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. Okay. Reactor. Just another resident. Classroom. Oh, it's... Whoa! Fairly... This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Grant says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. It's good to know all the kids are getting an education. If you say so. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. Oh, no. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes Nick, me. Nick, why? He's blocking everything. Okay, so in here is... Oh, no. This is just... Well, that was the atrium. This is obviously... Whole other second part. I'll need to chat to your teacher woman. All name characters. I'm going to just run around this vault, chat them, see if we get a few more quests. I know. Did I need more quests? This Probably not. Am I glad I'm going to get more? Yeah. Come down here. Doctor Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Good to know. If I need help, I'll come here. I hope you don't mind needles. They poke at you a lot. Ah, the needle phobia in real Can life, so Aaron. not a chance. She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Okay. So it was all pre-planned, so we could impress a girl. Fair enough, kid. Fair enough. I kind of out of place. I look just in my combat armor. It's a pity that it wouldn't make comments on what you're wearing. At least I don't think they have. Like, it would be cool if you wore a suit. Then when you were up in the colonial tap house, people would actually think of asking you. Is this just... Ah, oh, just is where Pensky lives. Okay. Good to know I can find most of the named characters here. Aaron, look who I found. The stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We What's haven't had a visitor in a while now. Oh, Thanks okay. for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. I'm heading out. Excuse me, mister. Wait up for me. Have Again? you seen my cat? Ash but I need your help somewhere. here. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Okay, sorted. Excuse me. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? Long enough to have a good look around. Well, hopefully that means not long. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. <laughs> we don't need to be letting in every straight traveler that comes He's so our friendly. Way. Okay, what about the wife? Any... Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. I um, heard there's all sorts of scary monsters in the Commonwealth. Oh, bathroom. Uh, Don't want any trouble in 81. Okay, well. Yes? With what I know... That's Alex, the reactor. Can I just go into the reactor? No way. What if the Overseer or Whitaker caught you? Cut me some slack, Tina. I've been working 12 hours straight. <sighs> You've been working. Sure. I bet bossing around old Rusty really takes it out of you. You've no idea, Mr. Luca. Hey, will you both just get lost? You're killing my buzz. Please direct any maintenance request to Mr. DeLuca. <clears throat> hey, Outsider. Do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get mm. clean. I think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. 
Poppy gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. I should have done it a long from. time ago. But things ain't easy around here. So you're the one having the affair then? Alright, we're Bobby. Bobby? Where'd he go? Are you couldn't have walked off in that time. Serious? Oh. Should we say we maintenance thing here? Old overseer's terminal? Hmm. There we go. Tell you what, pretty good. Lots of reading to do here. Let's go. Uh, by using this terminal, you're acknowledging that you're an author. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. Overseer Ol Olivet, uh, we'd like to thank you for accepting your new role as Overseer of Vault 81. This program, you know, represents a critical research opportunity. The work we do together will lead for a better future, not only in the times of uncertainty, but far into the future, whatever it may hold. Your background, academic and applied medical research will make you a capable leader to Vault 81 science staff and your administrative background gives you a unique ability to lead and manage the general population. Thank you again for reconsidering this offer and good luck. Okay, so the prime directive is to research infectious diseases and antibodies with particular pen attention paid to potential mutations in a climate of heavy radiation. Clinical trials are a vital part of Vault 81's mission. Trials will be performed in three stages. Stage 1 trials are conducted in petri dish cultures. Stage 2 are performed in the colony of heterocypious globber specimens. Uh, and Stage 3 trials are performed on the residents. Oh, oh, it's getting dark here. Scientific staff will be restricted to a hermetic her hermetically sealed research area. This reduces the chances of cross-contamination between staff and residential populations. The overseer will have communication capabilities, but no other residential population are made aware of the prime directive. As outlined, all members of staff will be required to participate in mandatory drills held on site by the overseer and Vault Tech administration. Admission drills are a requirement on all beta alert days as indicated in the early warning system. In the event of an actual alpha alert, Vault 81 will be admitted into the vault by the overseer's staff. All scientific staff should report to their workstations, avoiding contact with the population. Generally, those whom they may know personally. Fair enough. All residents should be admitted in an orderly fashion, given approved welcome address in the common area. The overseer should then use this terminal, confer privately, with the head of science by now. Okay. Vault 81 is not to be evacuated except in a direct all clear from Vault Tech Central HQ. Research, or research reports should be archived in the mainframe. Chemical compounds and other materials may be deposited on the marked receptacle. Only by the overseer and only after successful stage 3 trial. In the event of a Vault Tech ordered evacuation, you must be prepared to dispose of the residential population by incineration. Propellant nozzles are pre-installed in all residential quarters to avoid contamination with the outside. Oh, dear lord. This disposal is at the discretion of the overseer unless mandated. So everyone was to die, essentially. Oh man, there's loads here. And the comms between everyone. Oh man. Let me read here. I can't believe it. Vault Tech must have really been desperate for an overseer candidate after Duncan fell ill. I'm certainly qualified for this job, but with my politics, how could they think I'm a good candidate for this program? Maybe there's more to this than I'm seeing. They still haven't given me a brief on the work we'll be doing, but I'm not stupid. I'm pretty sure it's going to involve human trials. I won't jump to any conclusions, though. Let's see how this plays out. If they're crossing any ethical lines with me, they'll be in a congressional hearing before they know what's hit them. Yeah. The researchers are willing to put up with a lot. Today is our fifth drill of the week, and this time I had to make the calls in the middle of the night. Half of those scientists are just kids before cramming for finals and sleeping off Friday hangovers. I'm shocked as many of, of them staggered in as they did. I guess the pay is worth it. I know I wasn't earning that kind of money as a grad student. Student? It's much, much worse than I thought. I was finally given my full briefing today. Not only is vault -Tech asking us to do clinical trials in humans, they've got some serious backers in government. I can't just blow the whistle on this. Ah, gotta love a wee bit of corruption, eh? I've seen the admission roster. There are good people planning to live in Vault 81. I've little doubt the vaults will come into use eventually. I won't reward the trust of these people by treating them like guinea pigs. I feel trapped. I don't know what to do. 
It's done. I got the call early this morning. Another beta drill. It's always Rosario who has to call. Her voice was trembling and she couldn't get off the phone soon enough. She knew. Sure enough, the warning was upgraded within a few hours and the news was reporting confirmed launches soon after that. I made a decision. I deliberately sabotaged the phone list. Such a simple thing, but it meant that none of the science staff received a notification about the drill. The residents are beginning to show up and we'll have our hands busy admitting everyone. I'm no criminal mastermind. Clearing the phone list prevented most of the sand staff from showing up, but three still made it in. Flint and Collins are both my age and live in the fens. They had time to get here with the general population. Burrow is an overachiever and came by this morning just to see if there would be a drill. Figures. They reported to the research area. The vault protocols engaged automatically and sealed them in. They're already busy with their work, especially since there's only three of them. Wow, so this overseer actually prevented people from coming to the vault, the sand staff in particular, because he was like, n or wasn't obviously happy with what was going on. Burr and Flint are getting restless in there. Collins and that robot, he's calling our Curie for now, are keeping the mood relatively steady, but I think they already suspect I have no intention of allowing them to implement a stage three trial. Not sure what to do, they've got access to the delivery novel nozzles. If they choose to, they'll be able to infect the population with whatever they want. Need to keep them calm. I've made a grim choice. I sabotaged the delivery nozzles in all the residents' quarters as soon as I was able to. I didn't expect Burrow to notice so soon. Hell, I didn't expect Collins to get so close to a phase three trial so quickly. I didn't half expect or I didn't expect half of what's happened in the past few months. Cutting off communication is a cowardly thing to do, but what options do I have? They'll have food and water in there as long as they need. I just can't let them go through with human trials for God knows what vault tech plans to do with their research. I only hope that somehow they can forgive me and live out their years there in peace. Research comms. So this was between them. Testing, Dr. Olivia, do you copy? I do, Kenneth. Everything good over there? Just an our drill day right over here. It is, and thank God for that. Overseer, there are just three of us here. What's going on? All of it. Oh, man. That's got to be turned off. You need me to take a... Oh. Huh. You got it. Where is that? <sighs> I can finish reading the logs now. <laughs> okay, I have no idea where that's come from. Let's just get through it. Uh, there wasn't any more overseer private logs, no. So they were obviously asking where everyone was. Olivia, all of that. Sorry, Kevin. It's been a madhouse here. Only three. They're obviously realizing what's going on here. The residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves. That's the same way I heard. You'd think Vault Tech would have had enough warning to call at least a beta drill for the staff. Something must have gone wrong. Then the talk about a phase one trial, we've been pretty limited down here, but we're focused on antibiotics and have our first Petri trials. I saw the data last night, it's promising, do you think it'll be ready? Uh, the trials have just started, the virus we're going after is a few days of inoculation, but I'm optimistic that we'll see positive results. Okay, keep me posted and don't begin phase two until I have an opportunity to go through the data. Uh, food extruder issue. Um, the system isn't instantaneous. I hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Sorry, Overseer, I wanted to notify about an issue with our food extruder. Okay, I see it now. Looks like a clog in the protein tank. You weren't able to address it in your end. Uh, no, Overseer, hardware failures in the residential side must have must be addressed over there. We can't get our tanks or nozzles to repair them. I turned the radio off. I found it was quite actually a other side of the wall. So, uh, food extruder issue issues, um, they need it fixed. Okay, I'll have a maintenance down there immediately. Go on standby and Collins will contact me if there's still issues. Uh, thank you, Overseer. I'll go there now. Good news, Dr. Olivia. Uh, we've tweaked our formula and phase one trial results and we think we're ready to go to phase two. How's the mole rat population doing? Very well. The species Vault Tech provided are remarkably hardy. Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. Is that in the protocols? Not technically, but we noticed some weird stuff with the kibble provided for them. Burrow got pretty sick for a day or two. Don't ask. <laughs> he must have had it. Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are big to begin with, and we're thinking it's genetic. Tampered with? Something like that. I think Voltec must have been running experiments with them. They're all unusually large. A few demonstrate bioluminescence, and at least one appears more intelligent than normal. 
Do you think that's still a... Do you still there's still a useful control? We've divided the colony, separated the most unusual, and put the control colony in a new diet taken from our own food supply. It's not ideal, but I think we're okay. Very well. Give me the evening to go over your plans. I think you're clear to begin phase two unless I find anything. Overseer? Yes, Burr, what is it? I've noticed an issue with our delivery mechanisms. Do you know if anyone has tampered with the nozzles in the residential quarters? I don't know. What are you doing with the delivery system anyway? The phase two trials just began. I know, Overseer. I just thought it'd be a good idea to run tests in the delivery system before we reach phase three. If we reach phase three, human trials are not to be taken light, undertaken lightly. What kind of tests were you hoping to run? Just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzles are dispensed and missed properly. The residents wouldn't have even known we had done anything. I guess that's the idea though. I'll look into the nozzle issue on my end. In the meantime, do not use the delivery system without direct approval. Dr. Collins, please, or doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you. Performing the phase three trials on non-consenting humans is a breach of ethics, at least according to the world we used to live in. I can keep Burrow together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long as without some actual response from you. Damn it, Olivia, you can't be such a hypocrite that you condemn us to die in the name of your personal sense of morality. I know your politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please reconsider. That's dark. This vault I thought was all cheery. It, it got really dark really fast. Wow. It was all because I walked to the reactor room and found a random terminal. People need to leave me alone. I'm just trying to relax here. Hey, Bobby. This vault would fall apart if I wasn't here to tell old Rusty to fix it. Hi, old Rusty. Okay, so... Uh, are you protecting anything? Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. What's downstairs? You want a good um, meal? See Maria at the cafeteria. The storage room here. More rooms, I more random we had a in today. Okay, doctors. Welcome, welcome. I, would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just a blood sample? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Um, I don't know what this is going to lead to, but fair enough. This will only take a sec. I'll let him. We never do this in real life. Oh, no, no, no. You need to put ben, me out for this one. Hardly heard a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Okay. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, you got an operating room in here? Or just... No? Maybe things just for... Uh. You tried that. Okay, everything's steel, steel, steel. And there's a terminal here that I think I can access. I'm gonna assume you won't care, but I'll save just in case you do. Is it women? Is it Viper? Is it meat? Is it me gonna start using all these wee code things? Is it me not going to get a reset for this terminal? Oh no. Uh. Maybe I'm not going to get a reset. Just... No. Not seeing any. Not many okay. doctors around these days. Weld. Uh, spans of anything? No. Tires? That's two. Yeah, we're getting there. Weights. So welds and tires had one which was the eye. So it has to have an eye in it. So it has to be signs then. Sweet. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Gwen. What is it? Gwen McNamara. Mac McNamara. 
Oh, it's kind of like the one from the Brotherhood of Steel in Folly, New Vegas. I'm not. What was his name? Childhood bronchitis resulted in susceptibility to res respiratory infections. Um, gave her a steroidal anti-inflammatory inhaler. Mark Somerset has survived two bites of pneumonia. Prognosis of surviving another is doubtful. Suffers from ulcers and kidneys. General health pooler. Dr. Priscilla, uh, beginning to show signs of arthritis, has a family history of dementia but shows no sign, generally refuses even mild treatments. And Robert De Luca, uh, multiple con addictions to chem, got clean once for two months before relapse and shows signs of weakness and cardiac Should arrest. Should let me take a look at you. Ooh, grim. Alright, so we've cleared out this side, except the school. The teacher's not here. Is there anything sitting about? No. Okay. Seeds. I, I need more seeds. Well, Never had an incident on my watch. And this I strain is doing quite well. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. Hmm. Gonna need more fertilizer soon. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. Those seedlings are almost ready for transplant. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Okay, so she was doing test groups. Germination was fast. Seeds sprouted are healthy. Radicals and hippocotyls appear strong. Initial examination of cells appear normal. Um, I can't pronounce some of these words. Uh, week two, seedlings continue to grow normally and will be ready for transplant. Robot her roots appear healthy and are steadily growing. Uh, right. And then number three, all seedlings have been successfully transplanted. And then the other test group. Germination was slow, only 50% sprouted, and the radical is barely showing. I have doubts in the other half. This group does have a higher chance of failure due to radiation exposure. The initial 50% sprouting have continued to slow or show signs of growth. An addition 20 additional that should be an addition 25% have also started to spray. I will continue to observe. Um, lost quite a few over watering. Okay, and then week three on these. She transplanted them, but they not form strong enough root. The bed safely. Uh, no further seeds sprouted since week two. Don't know what that was meant to show me, but I'm not gonna lie, I could harvest everything here and she doesn't seem to mind. Though she doesn't have any quests for me, so I move on to someone else. He's not here. Watch out for the mate. Whipping up a new batch Never of pies to Excuse me. Marcus, Another new face in the vault, eh? Oh, oh, what is it we're needing now, so fella? Clever. I'm just visiting. Just visiting? <laughs> now ain't that something. Going you letting people in willy-nilly these days? Oh, hold on there. You got yourself a vault suit. Where you say you were from again? I'm from Vault 111. I'll be damned. All my years and never, I mean never, have I met anyone from really? another vault. Maybe seeing a vault dweller from the outside will pick up the spirits around here. The people here, they're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the overseer. But it ain't Gwenny's fault. Poor girl. Just landed the right position at the wrong time. What's going on? Why are people so overworked? Well, you live in the same place for 200 years. Time just takes its toll. Until the overseer opened the vault to the traders, we were just slapping on one band-aid after the next. Now we're just scrambling to keep old lady one together. I'm sure she's doing her best. I know she is. She's a smart gal. <laughs> and maintaining this bucket of bolts ain't easy. Well, I best be getting back to it. Don't want the old lady on me again. 62 years old and still fiery as ever. Those hmm. spies are going to be for Cal... Excuse hey, me, Maria. You tried telling that you to Aaron and breaking a little girl's heart. I didn't realize it's my wife was nice so to see a new face around here. Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. But I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. If you need any food for the road or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Do you run this place by yourself? Heavens no, I'd be a wreck. My husband, Mark, <laughs> he helps me, though mostly with the tasting. Is it hard work feeding everyone here? It used to be easier, 
Back when I was young, we had more supplies than we could count. Why, my mother taught me some recipes that had ingredients that... <laughs> well, I doubt you could find them anywhere anymore. Since we started trading, we managed well enough, but... The variety? Let's just say it's more than a bit lacking. Have you ever thought about leaving the vault? Never. Can you imagine? Oh, born and raised right here in Vault 81. It was easier back then, you know. Supplies were high, and the dangers outside were both severe and unknown. Poor Gwen didn't know what she was getting into when she accepted the role of overseer. How is Gwen doing as the overseer? It weighs on her, I can tell. We need help from the Commonwealth, but a few people, they don't care for it. Uh -huh. Not to mention the state of the vault. Upkeep's got people working round the clock these days. Even me. If people are going to be up all night working, they'll need a good meal to keep them going. Let's see what you've got. Take your time. Hmm? Hello, Maria. If you want a good meal, stop by the Sunshine Diner come morning. Oh. Another oh. long day in Vault 81. Uh, run away bad doctor, then? Forsyth and Rachel are down at the medical center. They can patch you. We may never know for sure. It's just uh, more storage. Hmm. Guess everyone's just went to bed. You're that Commonwealth traveler, aren't you? Oh, indeed. And I'm noticing that no one's here because everyone's away to bed. Imagine that. I wonder if Gwen's still awake. I want to talk to you. Oh. Watch yourself. Yeah, I'm sure. Wakey, wakey. Hello, overseer. Yep, I did wake her up. Same thing I did in Bunker Hill. Very nice place she's got here. That's a wee chit chat. See what she has to say. If you haven't already, you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. Overseer. Some of our residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most. So please, don't think they speak for all of us. Nice. Supply request. Uh, Maria Somerset wanted uh, Brahmin steaks, mutt fruit, stim packs for Jacob Four Size and blood packs. Priscilla wanted three fusion cores. Which he obviously didn't get because I didn't offer them. Uh, vents been leaking. Need to investigate Shafrik integrity. May need to replace bad section. But hopefully he can do it with a patch job. Pipes are suffering from corrosion. Needs welding and sealant. Sections of flooring may need to be replaced. We'll need to take a closer look behind the scenes to extent see the damage. And sealant must be given away for the concrete base as water is building up wa among wiring in the floor. Need to find a solution soon. If one more thing in this vault breaks, I'm going to scream. And by scream, I mean angrily slam the keys to this terminal. As I enter yet another frustrated log, no one told me when I took over Overseer that I would be inheriting a sinking ship. From what Calvin tells me, the damage isn't even coming from us in our everyday lives. It's external. And of course, it's external. Um, it's harder for him to assess the overall damage. We can't just unbury the vault. On the good side, the reactors continue to run without a hinch. Two centuries and not a single incident that old Rusty couldn't handle. Pretty good. So while the walls around us crumble, at least we'll have good lighting to witness it. Once again, I overheard a citizen telling one of the traitors that how much we don't need them. What is wrong with these people? Holt, Miranda, they don't seem to realize without these traitors we'd be starving. We wouldn't have half the items we need to do repairs. And I get the fear... I get the fear to allow outsiders in. I really do. I was terrified when the fir they, we first opened the vault, and after two centuries of isolation, you'd think after ten years people would be more accepting and trust the faces we've grown to know so well. Some people still don't accept Horatio when the man's lived with us for years now. Oh, he came from outside the vault. Didn't know that. Guess when you chat to him, you'll discover that. And sure, I... I don't know what could happen in the future. Maybe it's just a matter of time before we let the wrong person in. But if it's a chance, we have to take. Um, and a change they need to accept if we're going to survive another generation. How hard can it be to catch Bobby DeLuca doing drugs? The vault is only so big. There's only so many places he can hide. And yet here I am, getting another complaint about his little habit. 
It's frustrating on so many levels. Everyone's working hard around the clock, and here's Bobby. He sleeps on the job, a job that he can't even do, by the way. He gets old Rusty to do everything. If he's not high, he's drunk. His sister comes back, or backs up every story he comes up with. The list goes on. Part of me just wants to lock him up, post a guard, and be done with it. Let him suffer through the withdrawal as, as, as punishment, and we all know he deserves it. Priscilla informed me she has lo she lost the latest carrot crop. I wish she, we had the space to do more consistent rotations. On the bright side, we'll, while we'll miss the carrots, we'll be even happier once they're back. I never forget the day when Maria made her first Brahmin meat pie. I thought I was in heaven and I'd never eat another steak in a box again. Against Dr. Forsyth's wishes, might I add. Wasn't long before I still ha I've had my fill and find myself enjoying the same old Salisbury steak. On the bright side, Maria's mutt fruit pies are so are consistently good, although it's hard to go wrong when it comes to dessert. It helps that she saves them for special occasions. Probably smart in her part. She's been the chef long enough to know how our taste buds give out. Okay, well... <laughs> you sure you're not part synth? <laughs> of course. I guess you wouldn't know, would you? No, am I a synth? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> right. Guess I Aaron's am... cat managed to get out of the vault. Yeah, we've got to go see if it can't. It's not Calvin. I, I keep thinking that's Calvin. It must be rough living Can out there. here. Yeah. Okay. It seems everyone's awake now. So hopefully, that's good. eighty-one will quit her fussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. Calvin. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. I'll be quick. I promise. Ha! We'll see about that. What can I do you for? So, there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. <laughs> Old lady one here, she's a straight up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. He would have been cool. tools like Companion. they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Sure, you got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Uh -huh. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Mm -hmm. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger. But mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way, at least. Okay, he's the one you can give tools to, so... That's something. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. I didn't even notice. Thanks for being polite. Let me know if there's something I can get for you. I've got a little bit of everything lying around here. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 hmm. years old, work... Is she gonna sell, like, all perfectly good Some days, stuff? that's all I can do to keep my head above water. Uh -huh. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Hull, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. <laughs> I swear the cat is more help than he is. He sounds pretty unreliable to me. You don't even know. So, you have anything you don't need anymore, or are you just here to gossip? I might be interested in buying. Great, I have all. Let's see. You all keep mentioning this. And damn it, we've bought it. Not buying that, though. Oh my, what? Mm, looks cool. I ain't paying. 50. That would be every cap I own right now. You don't even sell anything. What? You sell anything? I always buy them anytime. Or I always pick that up anytime I see it. Multi grade duct tape. Oh, damn. Yeah, we'll take concrete. I need concrete. Don't need anything else new. Okay. We bought it. We got Overseer's Guardian. Hey, He's all happy now. Whatever you want, forget it. I can't be bothered with it right now. Huh. He's very... He's a positive person. Who do you think actually won? You've got guts wearing that pit boy in the no common now. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it. Yet. Hey, Horatio. Uh, I was hoping you'd stop by. Now I know from experience that Commonwealth shows no mercy when it comes to hair. So, how about a trim? You've been outside of the vault? Quincy. Born and raised. 
Wow. My mother, may she rest in peace. She was a doctor. Uh-huh. Imagine her surprise when she learned I'd rather cut hair than stitch people up. But enough about me. Did you say you were from Quincy? Sure did. Quincy. Looks like I was one of the lucky ones, too. I thought it was Quincy. Last I heard, Quincy? the gunners had taken her over. Anything interesting happening in the vault? They say Hulk is running around on his wife. <laughs> Apparently, he and Tina DeLuca are secretly getting together. Hulk, that's right. Uh, never mind about them. Any good gossip flying around? Did you know that Bobby DeLuca was a... He needs to quit before someone gets hurt. Himself working in maintenance. High all the time. It's a good thing old Rusty does most... Anything Try one more. I heard Aaron's cat, Ashes, got out of... Okay, well, we know about the cat. anyone would want to say. Anything interesting happening in the vault? Not much of late. Sure you don't want me to do something with your hair? I no. guess that's a no. No, it is a no. All good. Okay. Hello, Mark. Wonder when Prissy's next crop is due. Oh, we spoke sure to you. Sure could use some fresh veggies. Okay, so I think we've spoken to Stay nearly everyone. What's up there? Oh, the laboratory. Right, so the cat is all I know about. I thought I would have got more uh, overseer. Well, I'll just say hi to her one more time, see if you'll speak to me. Hey. Where is the teacher? I suppose you should talk to her. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my, I knew it. <laughs> my kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. I wonder how this is going to go down. Okay, let's see if I can get this to happen now. Grant says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to food. Hello, Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? Well, let's go for it. This will be a good way to go. I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up. Mm -hmm. We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a death claw? One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. Hmm. What happened? A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? That was a really, that was a good view. <laughs> Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. <laughs> I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Huh. Nice. Can't be bad to that. Another request complete. Hey, yay. Right, so there is a bit more. I had to have we read up there on some quests because I wasn't too sure of certain Please things. Direct any but uh, turns out I have to wait 24 hours for the. Uh, get to? Austin? Austin Engel. Yeah. Basically, I've got to go to the medical bay, but it says if you rescue the cat. It kind of, you know, speeds up the quest. So we'll go rescue it for the next episode. You've all been a fantastic audience. See you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.